Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to unbox the Airport Time Capsule. This is the 2 terabyte model. This is basically a wireless base station. They have an Airport Express and then the Time Capsule. This allows you to back up via Time Machine through your Mac onto your Airport Time Capsule. So that way you have a backup at all times. This is the 2 terabyte model. They also make a 3 terabyte model, and they're $299 and $399 respectively. Let's open this up. Now I haven't had a time capsule or a new one since the original in 2008 and that was because it always worked. I actually just had one uh, stop working and unfortunately it's five years old and out of warranty so it was time to get a new one. And since they came out with this new one it's much nicer than the one I have. This actually has dual band Wi-Fi, has two different bands at once, wireless N, it has A, B, G, N, and A the new AC. It also has a beam forming array. So let's take this out here. Pretty heavy. It's about three pounds. This, there we go, slides off like so. So this looks just like an Apple TV pretty much or an Airport Express. Let's pull this out of the box and it is wrapped here. Let's unwrap it. There we go. So it's Kind of this pure white color. There we go. And then on the bottom, we have this to peel off, and there's the Apple symbol. And as you can see, it has a little vent that's for the fans. It sits down just like this. Let's see what else we've got in here. It says designed by Apple in California. And then we have our plug, and then our setup guide. So really not a whole lot in here, but we do have our plug. The time capsule itself, pretty tall. It has the beam forming array. So what it does is if you do have an AC wireless device, like the brand new MacBook Airs with the latest Haswell processors in them, you'll be able to use this and it really speeds up your Wi-Fi. There's been some tests of it. Some are great, some aren't, but in theory and time, it should be really nice. On the back, you can see we have our normal WAN port, LAN port, and then we have three different Ethernet ports and a USB 2.0 power switch. And then right in here is a reset button. That's pretty much it. It's pretty heavy, but it does have a hard drive in this. If you've seen iFixit's teardown, the hard drive is a full 3.5 inch hard drive that sits this way. So it's kind of kitty corner and goes straight down through the base. So it's pretty heavy. Feels like it's going to stay put. I'll go ahead and plug this in and begin using it. I think it looks pretty good. I like the black on white here. It's, it's really nice, although it's going to kind of sit in a corner. It should be really nice to do all my backups and be plenty fast. It'll be nice to have this for the next few years, and hopefully it lasts as long as or longer than my other time capsule did. So if you have any questions or comments regarding the airport time capsule, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.